Hi everyone, so now we're going to be setting up our MIDI encoder for our pedal board since we have all the wiring in place. So that's this guy, right? Um, so basically I got this from uh, Design Tech Systems. It's called a PIC1. Uh, Let me just double check that. 32 note. Um, Yeah, PIC1 MIDI encoder, um, design tech system. So basically what this is going to allow us to do is take the uh, mechanical inputs that we're using on our pedal board, which are right here, and then we are going to transfer those into electrical um, messages, or in, uh, messages coming through the wire, right? And then out to our MIDI encoder. Um, for this, there's a couple options. You can order it as a ribbon or a Molex connector. I ordered a Molex connector because they looked like they'd be easier to connect. So let me just demonstrate this. So basically, this is your Molex collector, connector. Um, so it has little holes here. Then on the base, it has more holes. So on the base, so your wire is going to go through this top part, right? And then um, once you finish wiring this up, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, you just slide these onto onto these um, onto these metal pieces, and there's 32 of these, for, one for each pedal, and then you would then add power to it, which I'll show in a minute. Just plug in your power cables here, your ground, and your power to your pedal board here, and then your MIDI to your computer, and it should work. So let me just go ahead and wire one of these up uh, and show you what I mean. So um, let's start with pedal number 30. So what you want to do is take a little bit of wire, make sure it's nice and flat. So just cut any excess you have off of it. So you're left with a nice dull end like this. And take your stripper and then just strip off a piece there like so. Next, what comes with your um, MIDI encoder are these little um, metal pieces. It's kind of hard to focus on here. But the wire sits inside of this metal piece. So let me go ahead and slide this in through here. Making sure I get this on. Sorry for the video quality. Actually, I'm going to move a little bit more off of the end so that will fit a bit better. This should work now. Just make sure I'm inside in a second. Okay, good. So basically, what we have is the metal piece. Um, metal piece is in wire is inserted into that metal piece the next part is you're going to want to crimp it around the wire so that it stays in place now I do have a crimping tool right here and it works okay but from what I've discovered is just regular old pliers work just as well at least for this tool I mean for this project so basically what I'm doing is just grasping the lower metal part and then just squeezing and that should hold in place and then do the next one about that one squeeze just making sure that everything is tight and wrapped around the side here That looks pretty good, I think. Um, next part is to insert that into our Molex oh, connector. Now you can see I've already done some of these. So the room with the wire is going to go in here, and then the base is going to be what is going to screw pl um, plug into our into our um, uh, encoder. So for this, you're just going to just literally very straightforward slide this wire into the connector like so 
and it should we've had some problems in the past but it should just slide right in to place like that and you hear a little click and you're in place and that's that and then once you finish your board you would just um, insert this right onto those screws there like so and it will hold in, in the hold in place um, next video I'm going to show is adding power to this hopefully I can get that working and then connecting it up to the computer and we'll see if we can get some organ sounds all right good luck setting up your um, encoder